How nostalgic is this whole setup right now? I'm filming in my mum and dad's car at my mum and dad's house. This is very nostalgic for me. I feel like these videos used to be my favourite. I even forgot to do the door slam. Let me do the door slam. <laughs> That's just moved the camera. Hello guys. So I thought we would do a little drive with me today because I was staying at my mum's last night and obviously the car was available. I don't have a car still. So I thought while I've got access to a car, I'm going to catch up with you guys and go for a little drive, maybe pick up a Starbucks and do like an old mads kind of video i love doing these videos probably one of my favorites to film because i feel like i'm just driving along with you guys with you all in the car and we're just having a chat so that's exactly what i want to do and i feel like i've got so much to catch you up on like life is just crazy at the minute i feel like i'm really starting a whole new chapter in my life i'll tell you the good i'll tell you the bad we might laugh we might cry <laughs> But we're here together, so that was so cringe. I will say, though, I don't have a tripod. You're currently sat on a vape. I need to quit vaping. I started again when I went to Dubai. And it's not good. Honestly, it's... I, I, right, I forgot how to drive this car. I'm not going to lie to you. I always forget how to drive this car. What? Brake's down. Brake is down. Oh, oh, there we go. I always forget how to drive cars whenever I've not driven in a while, which is why it's good that I can just insure myself on my mum and dad's car because I think if I'd gone, I mean, I sold my car a year ago, so if I didn't have access to my mum and dad's car, I'd probably forget how to drive by now and need to take a test again. But we're learning still. I might have to take it slow though because I'm scared. But yeah, I started vaping again in Dubai and I need to stop because it's so bad for you. It's just so addictive, isn't it? I've heard that um, lollipops help because for me, it's not what's inside the vape that I crave. It's just like the hand to mouth movement, I think. Don't take that the wrong way. But I think that's what it is. So I think I need to go and buy some lollipops because vaping is actually, sorry to every, anyone who vapes, but vaping is actually so gross. I feel like I'm driving like I'm taking a driving test right now. Like, let me just relax into this. So I'm back from Dubai, obviously, and I really, really wanted to vlog Dubai. I really wanted to vlog Dubai, but I was a man, a man, a woman of many talents. In Dubai so I was a model I was a stylist I was a chef sometimes I made breakfast for everyone I made breakfast for 12 people can we just appreciate the wife skills right now um, so I was also a chef I was also basically creative directing the shoot I was helping the models I was doing a lot of things so then to add vlogging on top of that on top of getting my own instagram content it was just too much although i did vlog a little bit of the shoot so i'll insert them clips now because i really want you guys to see honestly it was probably the most incredible shoot i've ever been a part of and the fact that i got to style it was literally a dream i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus Brokenness feeling like sin, not no Creflo dollar Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler Now all the girls go follow, all the fake friends gon' pile up I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow Stay this shaky in Verado. I can't hold a frown too long I can't stay down too long Look, running from pain, running from strain Running from things, running from skin probably will have just watched the little clip how sick like it was the most incredible experience i loved styling maybe i want to be a stylist maybe i'm getting too big for my boots or too ahead of myself but i would actually love to get into styling like styling that shoot was honestly so fun so maybe i consider that as a second job but we went to this private island in Abu Dhabi and it was insane. Like, you know how you were, you always imagine these like 
resort holidays where everyone plays volleyball and orders pina coladas and gets a crazy tan that was this private island in Abu Dhabi it was literally insane I was playing volleyball with these strangers and I was literally just sat on the beach and I was like thank you God like God really really did me good with this life i think i'm actually going to go back to dubai because i i've decided that the uk is just number one really really bad vibes like can we all agree that the uk is just bad vibes when i went to dubai i love their way of living like the i like that they eat later i like that it, that i feel like a lot of a lot of the locals wake up late and stay up late which is what I like to do as well this angle is probably is that better I love that it's warm I love that I could just go and sit on the beach and work I don't know am I considering moving potentially which is something that I wanted to talk about in this video as well but I really want to go back to Dubai because my friend's actually staying out there for a month so I might go and stay with her and then I can actually vlog because I won't be working on a shoot alongside vlogging so I definitely want to do some more like travel vlogs because they're probably oh sorry you know what I'm just gonna wait till Starbucks because this is just not working out for me is it I've just thought I literally have the craziest driving playlist like it's so good I've been listening to it on my way here and I think we're due a playlist video maybe I'll do that with the next drive with me I'm not gonna play any songs in this video because the copyright will just copyright the whole video you know I will do it on a separate video and just make it a playlist video because now they they are some of my favorite videos to film. They're so fun. Okay, I'm just pulling up to Starbucks and I think I'm gonna get, everyone guess, a matcha. I mean, I'm not really a coffee girl anymore. I just, oh, there's a big queue. I just love a matcha now. And I think it is actually better for you, so it's not a bad thing that I prefer the matcha. You know what they've started doing at Starbucks? I had it for the first time when I went to LA years ago, but they've finally started doing the mango dragon fruit drink. And I mean, I'm not really craving that right now. I'm kind of craving a matcha, but that drink is honestly top tier. It's probably in my top three favorite Starbucks. So. I do want a matcha, but that coffee just looks so delicious to me um please can i get a grande matcha with oat milk could i have less matcha in it though please yeah and yeah. could i grab some sugar-free vanilla in that as well please no that's everything thank you my camera was severely overheating i mean i'm not complaining because what is this weather we're getting at the minute like is it a fluke because if we have a hot summer in the UK, even though I've just been slating the UK and saying how much bad vibes it is, but the UK is actually good vibes when it's sunny. So if it stays like this, maybe I'll be in the country more than we think. But I've got my matcha. I always get comments on how I speak to staff. Like whenever I speak to staff, my voice always goes up like 10 octaves. I think it is just a nervous thing. I've always done it. And I really couldn't tell you why. Like every single time my cousin would be like, try and not do it in your baby voice. And I'm like, I don't know how to. I think it's just me being, trying to be overly polite maybe. Let's take the first sip together. It's a good matcha. A little bit more green than I usually like. I like mine basically vanilla milk, I'll be honest. I do like a hint of matcha, but not like matcha, you know? Oh my God, that was so needed. Anyway, let's catch up properly. So obviously I've just got back from Dubai. I feel like I've got back from Dubai and I've really found it difficult to find my feet. Does anyone else do that? Whenever they get out of a routine, like, I like having a routine, 
but I also like being spontaneous. But once I've done my spontaneous shit, I also do like coming back to a routine and I found it really difficult to get back into it. I've not really been going to the gym that much. I'm trying to stay on track with like my calories and stuff because obviously I'm still trying to gain a bit of weight, which is going well. I'm definitely eating a lot better and I found that my hair's growing again, my eyelashes are growing again. I've just not got my period back, but I feel like... I've been getting cramps, so hopefully that is like the first signs of me getting my period back. Hey guys, I'm really not having very much luck with this camera tripod overheating camera situation right now. But um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was I don't know whether to move because like I was saying at the beginning of this video, I feel like I'm entering this whole new chapter. Like in your 20s, it's so weird. I feel like every year maybe this is just me but every year I feel like a different person like I am not the same person now that I was maybe not a year ago but when I was 23 I am a completely different person it's so odd and I feel like with that I kind of want a new space and my tenancy ends in July so I'm thinking do I want to move I mean my apartment has got so many good memories but it also has and holds a lot of bad ones as well and I know you don't move for that but I just think I might do a change someone's just parked right opposite me and that's really embarrassing but I just think I'm due a little bit of a change of scenery so I think I definitely want to move I just I want to stay where I am like the same area but then is there any point in moving I'm not going to be moving abroad it may have sounded like that before but I do want to stay where I am, but just maybe a different apartment, maybe a different building. It'll be fun to move as well and just have a fresh space, maybe get some new furniture. And I think that'd be cool to vlog as well and just, I don't know, like I'm not starting from scratch when I move this time because obviously the first time I moved, like this is my first ever home by myself. I obviously got it furnished and I've just done it over time, whereas now I can actually just make it my own from the get-go so I think I am consider well I'm heavily considering it I've not really got a lot of time I've literally got a month to decide but I think I do already have my mind made up that I that I want to move I just want to make sure that I get somewhere just as nice as my place now if not better because I obviously don't want to downgrade oh sorry I feel like I'm just like blabbing um but that's what these videos are for I want to feel like we're on FaceTime and I've just stopped over for a little Starbucks which obviously I've drank in two seconds. I've started watching Sex Life. Why have I not started watching this sooner? Like it's so good. Me and my friends in Dubai were watching it on one of the nights because we've been at a beach club all day, got a little bit drunk. We was meant to be going out for dinner and we was just like, do you know what? Let's put something on the TV and order some Deliveroo. So we started watching Sex Life and I've been addicted ever since. It's so good. There's a lot of sex in it obviously and it was kind of like a lot at the start but I kind of like it now and it's kind of making me get my sex drive back a little bit I'm not gonna lie also watching I'm not watching Love Island this year is it good also the new Black Mirror is out it's annoying that I've just started Sex Life because I feel like I I can't watch two series at once because if I'm watching one and then I'm watching another, I always forget what's happening in one of them. So I feel like with Black Mirror though, you don't really, like it's not like a plot, is it? It's just random episodes. I have watched one episode. It was the Joan is Awful, I think it was called. It's so good. Like Black Mirror is, that's my kind of vibe. Like I love it when it's like, reality but it's like realistic like the hunger games i like that kind of concept so i really enjoy black mirror and i'm going to try and watch it in between sex life because i don't want to see any spoilers and i just i can't help myself i really love it but yeah this week i'm planning on vlogging so i have a shoot on monday with uk lash i've been using them for ages now and look how good my lashes look like, I'm so happy with them. This is no lash extensions. This is just my lashes. So I've got a shoot with them tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. And I've got quite a busy week, actually. So I thought I would take you guys along for next week. I do really enjoy vlogging, but I just don't like it when I feel overwhelmed because I feel like the content is just not 
quite the same. Pan is actually back from Ibiza today and we're going to go out for dinner on Wednesday. And I'm going to try and convince them to book Ibiza with me. I'm going around my birthday with my family because we do that every year. But I really want to do a girls trip this year. We've never been to Ibiza, the three of us. We've been in twos. So I've been with Hannah. I've been with Rachel. Them two have gone together, but we've never actually been as a collective and that needs to happen so I think we're going to try I'm going to try and convince them so if you guys want to help me out with convincing them then let's flood their comments please with Ibiza ideas everyone keeps commenting that like are you guys still friends and either we don't post that we're together or I think life is just really busy at the minute obviously we spent so much time in lockdown together because we was in a bubble and had nothing better to do <laughs> I don't mean it like that but um obviously life is just life in all over again hannah's got a man rachel's busy doing all of her crazy work stuff so it's just life is busy you know i feel like our friendship goes so much deeper than the internet and i feel like we'll be friends forever in fact i know we'll be friends forever because the way we click and the way we bond is just so special you know them people that you just know will be in your life forever why does this camera keep overheating it's probably because you're sat on there i feel like i had a whole bunch of stuff that i wanted to talk about and now my brain is literally just oh that was one thing that i did this week so i've been to two concerts this week i went to a scissor concert and i went to a Hans zimmer concert i went to scissor with manny and that was so good i literally met so many of you guys and it was literally a surprise so i landed from dubai on monday and then on on tuesday manny texted me and was like scissor and i was like what do you mean it was a complete surprise so i literally found out on the day i was going and i really thought i was gonna miss her but it was so good she brought out travis scott so i saw two of my favorite artists of all time and yeah like i said i met loads of you guys although bless her the girl that was next to me like fully fainted i was so scared i did not know what to do and that's made me realize in them kinds of situations i am definitely flight mode i am not a fighter like in flight fa what am i trying to say in fight or flight mode I'm definitely a flight mode. I just didn't know what to do and I left it to money and I was like, you sort that. And then as soon as I knew she was okay, I was going over to give her a hug. I just, I get so like worked up that I don't know what to do. And I feel like I'll be more trouble than help. I really wish I could help, but anyway, I'm going to drive back because this camera's overheating and I know I'm vlogging next week. So anything that I forgot to catch you guys up on, we'll catch up about it during the week because this is stressing me out right now it was a little bit of a failed video i'll be honest this got drunk within 10 seconds as well oh, let me drink the ice does anyone else eat ice <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching sorry it was a bit of a random facetime but i hope you guys enjoyed anyway and i will see you in the week oh